Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at this battery by sunfunkits.com. Now I've already done a review on one of these batteries in the past. Battery was excellent, passed all my tests, so we're going to do something similar with this one. The difference with this one is we can actually heat the battery on its own without having to do it through a charge cycle. So these buttons on top here are going to allow you to actually leave your battery on a heat cycle. You can either do it for 24 hours, 12 hours, or just leave it continuously heating. What this is going to allow you to do is in cold weather, your battery is going to self-discharge on its own. And with having a heating function in here, this is going to allow you to counteract that. So you will not have lost energy from self-discharge in cold temperature, which could actually be more of a drain on your battery than using the heater function itself. So if we take a look at the outside of the case here, we have the sticker for sunfundkits.com. And if I turn the battery to the side here, we have all this great information that Sunfun Kits keeps a database on. And what the database is, is every individual cell is in the database. All you have to do is scan this with your camera and you can actually see all the values of all your different cells. You can see the technicians that worked on this battery as well as you can see the manufacturer's date. So a lot of great information here that Sunfun Kits provides you. And then as you can see on the back of the battery here, we have a whole bunch of information. So we have our performance of 300 amp hours, our peak power at two kilowatts, and a whole bunch of great information already stamped onto the battery. Also with this battery, you have the Sunfun Kits app which shows you a bunch of information. So we have our state of charge, our voltage, amperage, wattage, amp hour remaining, BMS temperature, case temperature. We can come over here and see all of our cell voltages. We can see our power being used in watts, amps, our current voltage, and our temperatures. We have a great amount of tools that you can use as well. So we have, we can turn on and off discharging, charging, you can change the nickname, you can calibrate the ambient temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius, low temperature discharge below freezing. We have a bunch of different options here you can use, maximum amperage of charging and discharging. So I'm going to put the battery on the first setting and I'm going to go through and explain all these settings afterwards. And here we are on the first setting. And you can see right now we have a discharge of 8.8 .8 amps. And we're using 120 watts. So that is going to heat the battery. Now let's talk about the different functions. We have a watertight sealed switch on here. Now what this is going to allow you to do is if you press and hold for a few seconds, now it comes on to setting number one. What setting number one is going to do is it's going to heat the battery up to 20 degrees. Once it hits 20 degrees, it's going to moderate itself on and off to keep that 20 degree value. And setting number two is going to heat it up to 25 degrees. And as well, it's going to turn itself on and off to maintain that 25 degree. Number three is going to charge you up to 30 degrees. And that is going to moderate itself as well. Now setting number four is going to heat up to 24 degrees for 12 hours. So after 12 hours, it's going to kick off. And then setting number five is going to do the same thing up to 24 degrees, but it's going to be for 24 hours. And to keep the battery warm in a cold environment, we have an insulated bag. Now this isn't just your normal, typical grocery insulated bag. This has got very thick insulation on it. And you can see down on the inside here, we have all sorts of padding, as well as it's a little bit more durable on the bottom. It seems to be some sort of hard, maybe plastic or something in the bottom. And on the side here, we have a couple of grommet holes, and this is gonna allow you to run your wires out. So now this battery is just gonna slide right in the bag and then you zip it closed and now you have an insulated pouch for your battery. Once the internal heaters bring this up to temperature, it's gonna be able to hold its temperature. Sunfun Kits also sells another bag that has pretty much the same style button on the top of this battery. 
that you can actually use to heat the battery from the outside of it in the actual thermal bag. So there's heat pads built into the thermal bag. This one is just the cooler bag itself, but with the internal heaters being on, it's gonna keep the battery warm, and then the insulated case is gonna keep the energy down on the battery. Okay, the battery has self-heated. So right now the BMS is sitting at 32 degrees and the case temperature is sitting at 30 degrees. Now setting number two was supposed to heat up to 25 degrees. This is probably due to it heats up to 30 and then lets it cool down to 25 and then heats it back up to 30. Not too sure, I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit. So the battery is fully charged. Just gonna top it up a little bit just before we start our test. There we go, the charger kicked off. Okay, I'm gonna do an overnight test. I have the battery fully charged here, 100%. So I'm gonna turn this onto setting number one, which it's not gonna show any discharge right now because the temperature is above 28 and 27 degrees. But tonight, the temperature is supposed to go down to 5 degrees Celsius, which is going to be 41 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to leave this inside of its case all night long. And we'll see how many amp hours are remaining tomorrow. Okay, now this battery has been sitting out here all night. Uh, temperature went down to 5 degrees, which is about, I believe, 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it used 6 amp hours of the 300 amp hour capacity out of this battery. So this is working really well. Right now we're sitting at about 25 degrees inside the case here. So I'm going to let this run for another night. I'm just going to leave it out here all day, all night. And it's going to get down to 0 degrees Celsius, which is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit and I wanna see how much power we've used over two nights consecutively with the battery just sitting here in the self-heating function on. So pretty amazing results, I'm quite surprised. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, and the results are in. So this battery has been sitting outside for two nights now, and we are at 275 amp hours remaining, so that means we've used 25 amp hours. Two nights of cold weather, and we've used 25 amp hours out of this 300 amp hour battery. So that's pretty cool. And you can see now that the battery is sitting at 24 degrees. So I believe setting number one is only gonna allow it to cool off to 20 degrees and then it's gonna heat it up to 25 and then it's gonna shut off and then it'll cool down to 20 and then heat back up to 25. So pretty amazing. All right, so Sunfun Kits self-heating battery, the only one that I know of on the market that you can actually turn on the heaters through a button on the battery to self-heat them even though you're not charging or anything just to keep them to temperature if you're in a colder environment and another great thing about sun fun kits is now they deliver to canada which is great for me because it's a little bit of a nightmare trying to get these products up across the border so sun fun kits now do deliver up to the northern part of north america another thing is i have the two batteries here up on the bench and as you can see on the screen here I can select both of the batteries and then I can connect to them. So here you can see we're going to, let's just pick the 24 volt in series. So now we have the information come up on the screen and it's going to show us the voltage on both packs. Uh, it shows you the details of both batteries, all the cells. And then we're going to pick Celsius because I'm up here. We can have it auto connect. It's uh, pretty neat. So yeah, you can uh, parallel or you can series connect through the app and it'll give you the information of, of your batteries. So if I had two more batteries for a 48 volt pack, they'll all show up on the screen here individually so I can monitor everything, which is kind of nice because I have connected in series two smart batteries and I have to connect to one and then disconnect and then connect to the other and then kind of memorize what the stats were. So this is nice that it shows it all in one. Um, I'm gonna do another video. We're gonna do a discharge test. They have their own monitoring shunt in the battery so that it'll actually give you a complete capacity uh, through their test. 
on the BMS. And then I'm also going to have it hooked up to my shunt and compare the two results. Uh, as well as I'm just going to do another overview of the battery in another video. So yeah, stay tuned. If this battery interests you, I'll leave a link in the description below. And thanks for watching. Bye.